two verbs that have very similar uses and can often just be swapped are manta and mani itta. So let's talk about what these are first of all. Manta, literally to be a lot, and mani itta, a combination of mani, the adverb form of this verb, manta, meaning a lot, and the verb itta, meaning to exist. So literally, there exists a lot. So then let's take a look at these two examples, manayo and mani isoyo. In this video, we're going to be talking about how saying there are a lot of something versus there exists a lot of something could possibly be different and which one you might want to use. But first, if you'd like to see more videos just like this one, please click like on the video and subscribe. Before you watch this video though, however, you actually want to already know about these verbs individually. You want to know what manta is and mani ita, and you want to know generally how they're both used because we're not going to be talking about conjugation rules or general grammar in this video. Quick note though, don't use either of these with the object marker to say that there is a lot of something. For example, never try to say something like 돈을 많이, 돈을 많아요, or 돈을 많이 있어요. These would both be completely wrong. And in fact, I made a video about why that's wrong, which I'll link in the description if you're curious about that. Okay, let's go a little bit deeper then. What do each of these verbs mean? First of all, manta, to be a lot. However, that means more like to be a lot in general, a lot of anything. And we'll talk about why that's important in a second. Next, we have mani itta, again, literally, to exist, itta, a lot. Again, mani is an adverb, so the adverb attached with itta just kind of describes how much is existing. So a lot exists. And the important thing is this verb here, itta, to exist. This is the verb that you would normally use if you wanted to say that someone or something simply is, exists at a location. For example, you can say your friend is at home using this, exists at home. Or in your room, there are lots of pens. They exist. Manta, however, doesn't have that sort of exists feeling to it, and this will make a difference when we start comparing these. So because of that, mani itta will tend to get used more often when you're talking about something that exists, something that is a lot of, in a certain location, somewhere, anywhere. So this one actually tends to get used more when you're simply saying something is at a location. So while I said that this one means to be a lot in general, this one is like saying right now there exists, there are a lot of something somewhere. So then something important you can take away from this is that you're going to tend to use mani itta a lot more commonly when you wanna simply say there's a lot of a noun somewhere. So if we take this example using pen, so penny manayo versus penny mani soyo, that means penny mani isoyo is going to be more commonly used to say that there are a lot of pens than manayo. But really, you can use either of these and you're not going to be grammatically wrong. They'll understand exactly what you're saying. So then in summary, if you wanna say that there are a lot of any noun, you can use either manta or mani itta and you'll be perfectly fine most of the time. Okay, first of all, you can't go wrong using manta in either of these cases, whether you're saying something's a lot in general or a lot at a specific location. There may be times when this would be more natural, which we'll talk about, but this one is not going to be wrong. So you can fall back on this one. But you should be careful when you're using mani itta to say that there's a lot of something. There are some cases where it actually sounds awkward. For example, if you're talking about there being a lot of something that's not physically in any location, then using mani itta can actually sound a bit awkward. Let me show you what I mean. For example, ton, money, toni manayo, versus toni mani isoyo. Now, money can be physical, or it could actually just be like a concept, toni manayo. This one just means there is a lot of money in general. So it does mean I have a lot of money, versus toni mani isoyo. There actually physically is somewhere located a lot of money. So this implies that there's perhaps a stack of money somewhere. Maybe you have a really padded wallet right now, or you have a big pile of money in your car or in your house or somewhere. This does perfectly mean you have a lot of money, but the implication is different. So toni manayo can imply there is lots of money, but not necessarily maybe in my pockets, but yeah, I have a lot of money. 
And saying "toni manayo" sounds like you're saying you're actually you're saying you're rich. You're not just saying I have a lot of money right now in my pocket, but no, I in general I have a lot of money. Versus right now, or you know maybe in my pocket, there's a lot of money in here. So if you're trying to tell your friends that someone is rich, then you would definitely want to say "toni manayo." Saying "toni mani isoyo" would actually be awkward in that situation. And again, this all goes back to the verb "ita" here, which means to exist. So physically, something exists. So then, can you think about any other things that you can have a lot of but don't actually exist? How about curiosity, "hogishim"? It's not something that physically exists. It's more of just a concept. And you can say someone has a lot of curiosity. Hogishimi manayo. Never. Hogishim mani isoyo. This would sound awkward. And there are lots of examples we can think of like this. Another common one would be inki. If you're popular, so saying something like inki mani isoyo. Although it's not wrong, it makes perfect sense. It's a little bit less natural sounding than manayo. So for these sorts of things where it's not a physical existence,、um, you probably want to stick with manta, unless you see it used already as mani ita, in which case go ahead. So in summary, between these two verbs, mani ita tends to get used more often to say that something exists in a large amount. So a lot of something exists, and manta will be used to say that there's a lot of something in general. Maybe it's not in your pocket right now, or it's not at your house, but there's still a A lot of it. Okay, so I hope I haven't added to your confusion with this lesson.、Um, if you have any questions, though, please do let me know in the comments. I read all of them. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again in another episode. Kram, tamitoba.